The minute I walk in that door, it's just like I'm energized. I always say I'm going to go home early, and I never do go home early, you know. <laughs> I just enjoy doing it. Annie, the founder of Annie's Community Kitchen, uh, is a retired nurse. She is a, a faithful person who uh, isn't just going to sit and think, but is a doer and uh, pulls people together, and before you know it, 150 people are fed every week. The kitchen started because Edmunds Lutheran Church needed a mission. And Annie had an idea. Well, we need to feed people. It's a big mission that we hear in the gospel. And everybody kind of teased me. This has to be Annie's kitchen. The first night they cooked for 150 and four people showed up. It was kind of a downer because I had thought maybe we'd have 15, 20 people. But it didn't take long. Two weeks later, I think we had nine. And from there on, it just went. It's become a signature piece of this congregation. I think people all around us know about Annie's Kitchen, that dinner happens, that it's open and welcome to anybody. Anybody can come here. I was talking to a lady, a well-dressed lady, and uh, she said, um, do you realize I'm homeless? And I said, no. She uh, lives in her car. She works every day, but she's lost her house, and uh, it's just the economic times, you know. We got this kitchen through the loan from MIF, and I don't know where we would have been if we hadn't gotten that loan. We have also been able to invest a little of our money. All the donations that have come in are invested with MIF. We were given a gift to improve our space and improve our facilities, and we understand that mission piece of it. And when we have our own money, both as this organization and as individuals, we like to put it in a place where it's going to continue to pass on that good. So many of the volunteers have been here almost all the nine years, you know, and they, they say, we wouldn't miss this. This is the most wonderful thing. Many of them are Edmonds Lutheran people. Many of them are not. There are folks from all over the community, from other churches, neighbors, business people. They've heard about this and, and found their way here. And that is one of the things that I think is really wonderful about it. it. It's a community expression of care. Have one gentleman, I always say he's the, he's the reason I do this. I said to him one night, how's the dinner? And he said, do you realize how hard it is to go to bed and go to sleep when your stomach is empty? He said tonight, I will sleep.